Not only porcupines have needles on their bodies, but also some other animals, such as hedgehogs and echidnas. But it is in porcupines that they reach a record length of up to 40 centimeters, and they may be 6 to 7 millimeters in diameter at the base. The needles are hollow inside, so they do not weigh much. Moreover, thanks to them, these animals are great swimmers, as air-filled needles act as floats, helping them to stay on the water surface. Among all rodents in the world, crested porcupines are the third largest, second only to beavers and South American capybaras. Adults of this species can grow to 27 kilograms in weight and a length of 90 centimeters not including the tail. Although usually they are noticeably smaller and individuals larger than 12 to 15 kilograms are rare. There are eight species of porcupine in the world, and they are found only on two continents, Eurasia and Africa. Once they were found in what is now Russia, but in the Urals they became extinct about 100,000 years ago, and in the Altai Mountains about 27,000 years ago. The reason for their disappearance from these areas is thought to be global cooling. Porcupine needles are modified hairs. The cubs are born with needles, albeit soft ones, and they harden over time. At the same time, besides needles, they also have normal hair resembling stubble. They grow even on the back of these rodents, between the needles. North America is home to porcupines, which some biologists refer to as porcupines, although, strictly speaking, they are not on a number of grounds. They are even called North American porcupines, and are notable for the record number of needles on their bodies, which can number up to 30,000. Any predator that tries to eat a porcupine may very well regret it. The needles of these rodents are not tightly seated in the skin, as in the hedgehogs, they are easily discarded if necessary, remaining sticking out in the body of the unsuccessful hunter. And a porcupine has no problem growing new needles to replace the lost ones, even if it takes some time. However, pumas and wolverines hunt these animals quite successfully. The diet of porcupines consists of various plants, roots, and leaves. But on occasion, they like fruits and vegetables, and in some regions of Asia from time to time raid farms under the cover of the night and make raids on fields. But these animals are not vegetarians, they also eat insects. In captivity, porcupines live up to 20 years, the official record of longevity being 27 years. In the wild their lifespan is twice as short, and they can be tamed rather poorly. Keeping them is also a real challenge, the strong teeth of these rodents allow them to chew through even the metal netting used for rapid erection of fences and barriers. All their species are distinguished by corpulent build and short paws, therefore they are not able to develop high speed. Porcupines prefer to move leisurely at a walking pace, but being frightened they may try to escape. They run rather amusingly and clumsily. On porcupine needles and between them accumulate not only a significant number of insects parasites, but also many bacteria, dirt and germs. Therefore, a needle puncture often leads to inflammation if the wound is not immediately disinfected and treated.